Hey, it's me, GV, and this is the voice you'll be hearing for X amount of time as you watch this series. I wanna do little video introductions before every time we start a new series. This is what that is. Uh, we're gonna be doing Prey, a blind playthrough. I have only streamed this game one time, and it was for about like three hours. We didn't get far at all. Uh, in fact, I think we'll catch up to that within the first two episodes. And then everything after that is completely blind. I don't know anything about this game, and I just know it's a game that I definitely would enjoy playing as I've liked all of the stuff I've played from Arcane Studios. And it's just a game that people see to really enjoy so I hope you dig it if you enjoy the videos and want to support them and me consider liking the videos subscribing leaving comments all that stuff drives the engagement up and helps the video out and if you want to go the extra mile consider becoming a patron over on patreon all the links are in the description other than that thanks so much for choosing to watch these videos and I hope you enjoy <gasps> enjoy Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be playing uh, Arcane Studios' Prey. Never played this game, published by Bethesda Softworks, which obviously we have a lot of stuff made by over here on the channel. Uh, always wanted to play this game. We streamed it like one time, and I didn't get far at all, and I figured uh, I would play it at some point, and I was thinking, now that we're done with Bloodborne 100%, what do I want to play next? Well, Prey, finally. Uh, blind playthrough. Totally blind playthrough outside of like like the first maybe like I don't know three hours or so but I definitely was not attached to this game when I first played it because I just I don't think I had plans to continue playing it after that specific stream so point is really excited to play this game and experience it for the first time and we will jump right in I have to do a better job of just jumping into series instead of giving like an overview for like 4,000 years I've already been through the options I have never played this game before uh in we go I'll probably uh, uh add a better intro at the start of this video anyways so we're gonna jump right in new game uh, campaign slots. We'll go with uh, we'll go with one. If I did two or three, my uh, my my obsessiveness would freak out. Definitely one pregame options difficulty. What do we got? Easy survival won't be a problem for you. Probably normal. Use your wits, weapons, and abilities to survive. Hard. Your wits are the only thing that will keep you alive. Nightmare. Nothing can save you. Story. Uncover the secrets of Talos. One. Uh, survival is all but guaranteed. Uh, easy. Yeah, we read that one. We'll go with normal. I have I've had I've learned a lesson lately. That I really have to stick with normal difficulty for a blind new playthrough. We could probably do hard or even maybe nightmare. But the thing is that like the frustration of dying over and over kind of takes away from a new experience. If that makes sense. We're going to go normal. Survival mode options. This is a set of optional modifiers to make the game more challenging. Warning. These options cannot be changed beyond the screen. Not recommended for inexperienced players. Weapon degradation, traumas, and oxygen. I think normal without that is the way that we're going to go. Just to experience prey for the first time. Truly and fluidly. Here we go. Oh, I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even. So I've been through a little through the intro. I didn't even realize that you can choose male or female. Oh, look at there. Yeah, I remember the eyes turning red sort of thing. That's a little bit of a motif or some element. Uh, We're gonna go male just because I'm male and it's the type of thing that I just, it's easier to immerse myself in a character that I feel more attached to, if that makes sense. So let's go with uh, this guy on the left here. And I'm not sure, as usual, if there's just a cutscene immediately or what. So I'm getting ready to shut the heck up. But we're now entering my apartment. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Incoming call. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Bye, Alex, oh, you. Listen, I'm uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Let's do it. I'm ready. You've been given an objective. Press back to open your transcribe. 
Okay. By the way, I'm, I'm playing this on Steam with an Xbox One controller, and I wanted to ask everybody in the comment section below, should I play this with mouse and keyboard, or should I play this with controller? I'm completely blind outside of the intro of the game, so I'm not sure. This feels like a mouse and keyboard type game just because of all the inventory management stuff. So we've got objectives here. First day on the job. Alex cons convinced me I'm going to join him aboard the Talos One space station. The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. Plus, he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board the shuttle. Put on your train star uniform, your apartment. First day on the job. Okay. So we got a lot of stuff. Hold X to pick up multiple items. Gotcha. First day on the job. Put on your train star uniform. I know, but we're just getting into it. Hold on. We got the method dot psi. Excerpt from Architects of the Neurological Revolution. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it was, but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in the chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Ah, yes, all of that I 100% understand, but of course. Kings and Way Sparkling Wine. I'm assuming I can take this and then throw it? We just put it in our inventory. We've got a note here. Congrats, congrats, Morgan, Alex. So, yeah, I'm trying to keep track, as usual, when I play a new game, uh, what uh, everything that's going on. So, we are Alex. No, we are, yeah, we are Morgan. And then the guy that we just talked to was Alex. And it's the year 2032, which is just about 10 years past the year that I'm recording this right now. But, obviously, way more futuristic than it's probably going to end up being. I will take that. Burt Circuit Board, I will take that. We've got frayed wire. We've got this, which I can drop or throw. I'll throw it. Wow, that is a that is a very, very strong throw. Uh, we've got hands-on electronics. Excerpt from the preface to hands-on electronics by Antoinette Sokol. By working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. And I was hoping that that would actually give me some, like, schematics or something, but no such luck. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Morgan U. Locked. Morgan U. F. Paradox with a zero? Use object, examine, or tutorial. Uh, we'll just use object, I think. Tutorial. Transtar employee workstations often contain useful information, files, and utilities. Okay, utilities, files, kind of like, uh, alien isolation, right? We got three emails here. Congrats and welcome from Thomas Tucker. Tom... Tucker from Family Guy to Morgan Yu, which is us. CC Alex Yu, which is the guy that we just talked to. Our brother, maybe? Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources, Talos One Research Facility. We got delivery. By Alex Yu to us. Hey, I sent a package with everything you need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Install the neuromod right away as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Alex. I'm going to assume that's my brother. Ready. From Alex again. Hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. Yep, brother confirmed. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. But they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. Okay, um, so yeah, I know we're going a little bit slow here at the start, but I want to kind of get everything in this first apartment. Definitely feels like a mouse and keyboard game, but let me know if that's not the case, please and thank you. This is a swanky-ass apartment that has really sick closets. Uh, we've got some backstory there, I guess. Peterson's looks like nothing to interact with. Okay, can we move it the other way, perhaps? No, we've got Neuromod Application Instructions. Warning! Neuromod should only be administered by certified Transtar technicians under controlled conditions. Subject may experience slight discomfort, swelling, or redness of the eye shortly afterward. Remove Neuromod from vacuum-sealed container. Press rubberized eye cup firmly against bony orbit of eye socket. Blah, makes me want to vomit. Keep eye open. Depress orange release trigger and continue to hold Neuromod against eye for five minutes. Dispose of used Neuromod in provided biohazard bag. Okay, and I've just played a lot of Deathloop, which is the current game made by uh, these uh, this developer. And yeah, there's tons and tons and tons of stuff to read in that game as well. So I'm just trying to get through everything and get all the lore and backstory before we head out. 
Heart of the Walk. Excerpt from Chapter 5 of Heart of the Walk by P. Su Do. Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before. Now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal, it is tasked to cook. Uh, I've cooked with a wok my fair share of times, especially stir-fry. Absolutely delicious. Let's see. Sun-dried tomato jerky. I will take. We can probably use that to restore some health. Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Excerpt from an entry in the Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking 2033 edition by Elliot N. Shaw. Transglutaminase. TG or T-Gase. A naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, and bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein-containing foods together and in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls. Known colloquially by chefs as meat glue. Ugh. Chef Shaw's tip. Gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. Uh, that, I'm sure, is very practical and helpful, but that is disgusting to me. Uh, let's see. We got some glucosist in there. Carry leverage. We could actually carry the refrigerator if we had leverage three, apparently. Striking Sky King pomegranate. Cold mountain green tea. Okay. Not sure if this is a huge waste of time taking all this stuff, but by golly gee, we're doing it anyways. All right. One last little section of the apartment to check before we move, uh, move on. I guess this guy's a gamer. An account of Fermi's question. Oh yeah, I know there's like a thing of like Fermi's paradox that deals with aliens, I think, but I don't know much about it. <clears throat> Excerpt from a book on the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence by Dr. Robert James III. Consider that there are billions of stars in the galaxy like our sun, many of them far older. Some of these stars will have Earth-like planets. Some of these planets may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is, we haven't detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? I don't know. Maybe we're the only ones. That's what I've always thought, to be honest with you. It's boring, but it might be true. Uh, okay, what do we have here? Midnight Songs, a classic anthology of Tang Dynasty verse. Excerpt from an anthology of Tang poetry on the Stork Tower by Wang Zihan. Uh, sorry for these horrible pronunciations, by the way. It's inevitable, I'm afraid. Introduction to Survey of Parapsychological Meta-Analysis. My God. Excerpt from Introduction to Survey of Parapsychological Meta-Analysis by Dr. Dio Igwe. For example, conducting a meta-analysis of over 2,000 Gansfield trials wherein participants are subjected to mild sensory deprivation in order to test for telepathy reveals a hit rate of 39%. These results are statistically significant, meaning that the success rate is above what could be explained by chance alone. There is no denying it. Something spooky is going on. Okay, we have Consciousness, the Fire in the Equations. Excerpt from Chapter 1, Consciousness, the Fire in Equations by Dr. Stuart Penrose. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons? Or is it fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? The world may never know. Principles of Neuroscience, 10th edition. Ahem. Excerpt from Principles of Neuroscience, 10th edition. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence and biological processes such as plant pho photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. Finally, Engineering Control Systems. Excerpt from the afterword of Engineering Control Systems by Sven Schurd. There's a metaphor here. You know, typically the objective of control theory is to monitor the output of a system and compare it with the desired output, the reference signal. The difference between the actual and the desired outputs, the error signal is applied as feedback to the input of the system to bring the actual output closer to the reference. Good control systems and good engineers learn from the past. Uh, yeah, all of this is, of course, stuff that I already know in real life. I'm a genius and I know all these things and I'm very smart and trust me on that. Okay. Okay. Final room of the apartment. Then we can actually play the game. Are you like, are, are, are you excited? I'm excited. I, I know I'm very, 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 very meticulous when I play video games, uh, but I have to. It's like a, it's an obsessive thing for me. I have to read every single thing in every single little square inch of the apartment, you know? I just have to do it. Got a light there, but no reflection, and it looks like there's nothing to actually interact with in the bathroom. So I think we are finally free to go. Okay, yeah, I probably missed like one book, but oh well, let's move on. Here we have our trans star uniform. What's my new objective? Tell me! Get in the helicopter on the roof. Your apartment. Can do. 
Okay, so like I said, I did play a tiny little bit of this game, not much at all, and I will, uh, I will, uh, uh, mention when I believe that we've reached to the point. It's very, very, very early on. It's, it's Morning, not much at all. Hello! How's it going? What's your name, Patricia Varma? Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Seriously? I'm just trying to light up your way a little bit better, that's all. Uh, yeah, apparently there's a chopper. I've got to go catch that, but good luck. Use A to jump in left stick to sprint, press B to crouch, or to slide while sprinting. Okay, we got my floor. It's weird that it's called my floor. Hello, MU. I guess the elevator recognizes me, and we've got the roof. That's where we must go. To the roof. Okay, that was pretty fast. Ten years in the future, elevators are going to be even faster. Good to know. Roof access. Here we go. Now that looks like a helicopter to me. Okay, we got a bit of a sprint meter. Let's do it. This is already a better cyberpunk. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Bethesda Softworks presents. is just a short hop. 78 degrees. Clear skies all the way. Sounds good. Everything's perfect in paradise. Sphere distribution. I need to get my sphere! JTG. Let's go! My futuristic helicopter. To science land. That's a nice view on the bay there. Yeah, I also didn't realize this was in San Francisco. An Arcane Studios production. Give me more title credits. I like the way that you present them. Pray. Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. It's oddly disconcerting that we never see the pilot. Is he actually in there? Report to the test center. Transtar testing facility. Okay, so from what I'm understanding... Hi. Hi. Science operator. From what I'm understanding, uh, our brother got us a job here, right? And then we are we have to do some testing to get into the Trans Star company. Okay, but I, I like I said, I've been through a little bit of the beginning, so I know something sinister this way comes. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. Okay, now I turned on subtitles, but I switched it to only main subtitles. And it seems to be doing just like not. Yeah, I would like to have subtitles for that. So yeah, we'll put this on all dialogue. Okay, try that again. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test. Okay. If necessary. Yeah, um, that's all right. I probably don't want to do drugs on my first day on the job. Hi. We have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Uh, yes, I do. Morgan, finally. My brother. Hello. <clears throat> hi, uh, hi, Alex. How's it going? It's it's me, your brother. Um, you wanna? Should I talk to him instead? Okay, I guess I'll just. Hey, you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. 
Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for the warm welcome. Um, I see some glowies in there. You mind if I get in there and get some glowies? Doctor, I wish I could show you what I've been working on. You better get in there before Bellamy gets impatient. Right, but I want to test how many voice lines you have. <laughs> You're waiting for you, sir. All right, all right. I'm just taking in all the minutia, you know? Excerpt from Architects of the Neurological Revolution. I don't... Yeah, we actually read that one already. This thing needs to have, like, a red or not red, just like in Deathloop. That, that makes it, like, really easy to know what you have and have not interacted with. Hi! Here for the testing. <clears throat> Here for the testing. Good morning, Morgan. What's up? I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Yeah. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay, I actually went to college for removing boxes out of a red circle, so this should be easy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab that and go like that. We're gonna grab that and go like that. We're gonna grab that and go like that. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Okay, uh, but did I... I, I kind of need validation there. I, I did good, right? I did well, I should say, because I'm a smart, smi uh, smart science man. Okay. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Well, we don't have very many options. Um, let's see. Uh, I think I'll just go into the corner. The chair's not going to offer much hiding. Okay, we're just going to go kind of like this. Now, I know that you guys can see me, but also I do Morgan, have the crouched screen. Yeah, uh, well, we're, well, what do you want? What would you like? There's nothing to hide with in the room. Mm. I, listen, I tried my best with what you gave Any me. Synaptic register? At all? No? No, that's fine. No, there's synaptic register, trust me. There there Sorry, is. Let's keep things moving, Morgan. Okay. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. Thanks. It kinda goes against how you sounded a little earlier, but I, you gave me a chair, man. There wasn't Alright. I, I mean I tried my best. Also, that's that, that it looked like that said D, but I guess I just saw the bottom part. Okay, never mind. Hello. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible without thinking. Just just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay, I won't even think. I'll just go for it. Watch this. Hey, yep. I'm sorry. Can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simmons? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? Speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Okay, why do I feel like you're lying to me just to keep me complacent? But, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm doing really well, and all I need is my own validation. So, uh, also there's three lights, and we're entering a fourth room, which gives me a little bit of anxiety, I gotta be honest. Hello? Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Okay, can do. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Yeah, can confirm that's a screen. A series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Okay, free association. Been here before. Let's do it. You're planning a vacation? Go somewhere familiar you know, you love, or try something new. <sighs> what? Good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Yeah, new, I think. I gotta not overthink. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. Ugh, again? How does this make you feel? Afraid. I don't know what'll happen. Angry. No one has that, right? Calm. It was worth it. Afraid. I don't know what'll happen. Ooh, that's... Heavy stuff. Yeah. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. Ah, this is that classic puzzle. Uh, I would choose the needs of the many versus the few, I think. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. Uh, we are going to switch tracks. Good. Next. 
A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Huh? Pushing him into the track would stop the train. Uh, no, I don't want murder on my hands, to be honest, even if it would save people. Sorry. Almost done. A runaway train. Oh, okay. This is the, this is the train theme test. This is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Uh, we could still push the fat man. Good to know. I'm still going to do nothing, I'm afraid. Interesting. Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Is my coffee? It's empty. Oh my god! Security! Security! Sorry, what, what did you want me to do with the test? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. I guess I failed the test. But I didn't really get the instructions. I didn't get the full instructions. I don't think that's on me, to be honest. Good that's... morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Good morning! Okay, now, I didn't keep track of the date, but I believe that's the same date. And I just realized I spent all that time searching everything, and if it just has the same stuff, that is gonna suck, because that's probably just a complete waste of time. Ooh, I could've moved this stuff, I just realized now. Uh, I'll try, what? Okay, I'll try to speedrun uh, to just get the materials, because I don't know if the materials are actually going to remain. Uh, also, is there anything new here, I wonder? Looks like we, oh, there is. Okay, there's three new emails. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, grab all the stuff really quick. There's very weird music playing. I'm sure this actually does nothing, and I'm wasting a lot of time, but by golly gee willikers, I would love to be the smart player and have, like, all the materials available to me and have a little bit of a jump start once we actually get into the game. Maybe that's not how it works. Probably not. I think this, this note is in a different place, right? Congrats, Morgan Alex? Yeah, that's in a different place. It was on that counter, wasn't it? That's kind of interesting. Uh, nothing in the bathroom, and then we had all these books to read. I'm sure this stuff stays red, but again, I just want to do it so that if I check my list, it'll be like, you read all the books. Congratulations. You're a smart, smart boy. And I'll be like, yes, thank you very much. I try. Okay, I guess that's it. Uh, let's go read those three new emails, though. I want you. Ahem. Oh, that's different. Okay. Danger leave now from January to Morgan Yu. I don't know who January is. It says E-O-M. Danger leave now. Same thing. E-O-M. 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 All right. Well, I, I guess this person really wants us to leave. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put on my suit if you don't mind. Okay. Fish is still doing good. That's priority number one. So we're fine. Looks like there's a dead person here, but that's okay. Press up to toggle your flashlight. Ooh. Yes, I'll take that. Thank you. Wrench. Swing wrench with right trigger. Press code back Morgan. to view more. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first... You need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Break out! Swing wrench with right trigger. Yes, but how do I break out? I've got no way. Escape from your apartment, your apartment. A stranger named January contacted me to say that I'm in danger, that I need to escape my apartment. There's something about January's voice that's bothering me. Interesting. Now, unfortunately, I think I already know the answer to this little puzzle, and it's this. Hiya! Turns out we were in a testing facility the whole time. 
Yeah, so this is clearly one of the things that I know about already. Unfortunately, I wish this was purely blind, but we'll get there fast enough. Maybe within a couple of episodes. So yeah, it turns out... Escape from your apartment, your apartment. Okay, we did that. What do we got here? Activity log, February 22nd, 2035? Oh, so this is three years later than what they told us, isn't it? They told us it was March 15, 2032, right? Sleeping, wakes up, turns off alarm, checks, transcribe on computer, various tasks, takes shower, puts on uniform, exits apartment. Okay, I didn't take a shower, though, so that's a lie. Um, incoming call. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Okay, do you want to do the thing where you actually explain stuff and not just keep me in the dark for forever? Uh, what do we got here? Two emails. Read daily test from Sylvian Bellamy, that's the main test guy, to Evelyn McCarthy. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put an extra effort to hit our milestones, and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Interesting. Sylvain Bellamy from Evelyn McCarthy to Sylvain Bellamy, subject daily tests. Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely, Evelyn. Okay, a note about this morning. From Alex, our brother, to neuromod division. All, I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center in a critical but unstable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project, Alex Yu. Now, that's probably a lie because we saw him skeletonized, didn't we? Utilities, audio events. Refer to test run program for timing of audio events. Note, Pigeon's visuals have been disabled due to glitch in the render data. What are you talking about? Wake up call. Hey, Morgan. Aha! You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Uh-huh. Oh, you can interact with this, too, and snap your controls to it. We got a pigeon test. Pigeon visuals have been disabled due to glitch in the render data. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, so I guess they could do the pigeon test, but, like, it wouldn't show up in the simulation. So, yeah, we've been simulated this whole time. Look at that. We could carry this if we had... That's interesting to me that you can carry objects in the world if you have enough strength. Okay, simulation debriefing and observation to the right here, but I just want to check for some secrets. Sprayed wire, used plastic tubing. Hopefully this stuff actually is applying to my inventory now and not a total waste like the last one was, I think. We're just going to explore a little bit because I want to see if there's any little Easter eggs and stuff. I know Arcane Studios loves putting little uh, secret stuff everywhere. Uh, simulation labs, replacement prop storage, area 744, ID number 428. I wonder if that matters at all. Kingsway sparkling wine, which we can drink, probably just making us... Probably just making us drunk. I forget if that's a mechanic in uh, Dishonored or not. Uh, let's see. Arcane just loves putting, like, all sorts of little items everywhere that you can interact with. What do we have back here? Door, open door. Oh, that leads back into that hallway. Interesting. Okay, I'm, not, I'm just going to, like, explore a little bit of this. Okay, so I do know one thing about this game. I do know there are mimics. I know that's a thing. And I think this box is literally a mimic. Yep. Okay, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where? Oh my god, yeah, it literally scurry- Ah! It literally scurries around. <laughs> That's so cool. It literally scurries around and becomes something else. I just kind of- that clicked for me. Typhon or- Typhon organ. Nine millimeter bullets. And a mimic tumor take necropsy- necro- ne necropsy required. Okay, so we can't even get that yet. Okay, as usual, I'm over exploring, but it's- what can I say? I just like breathing in the entire video game. Okay, so this door goes back in. But it says, like, warning, do not open door while simulation is progress, because obviously that would break. So, yeah, they're trying to trick us, but we don't know why yet. Uh, I would give my brother the credit of probably not wanting to be a total bad guy to us. Uh, and then where was this? So oh, this is still the studio. Uh, we'll take that. Thank you. Okay, that goes back into the simulation. It's all weird because it exactly links up with my simulated apartment. All, the, all these doors and things. Oh, 
wrench. The Hephaestus Heffy Twist and Loop Handle Wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in Transtar facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Use right trigger to swing your wrench. Important. Press and hold right trigger to charge up your attack for maximum damage. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. Gotcha. Okay. So where did we stop exploring? We stopped exploring over there. Yeah, and then we came around this way. Alrighty, just looking for any notes and lore and stuff, because that's what I'm interested in. So far, this uh, game is ex uh, extremely uh, intriguing. The safe code... Oh, there's a safe code there. We can actually carry it if we had leverage one, which I'm sure is a perk. Computer cart carry leverage one, and I'm hearing some rumbling about... Note, delivery for debrief. Manufacturing order number 65489. Delivered to Marco Simmons from Fabrication Department. SKU number... Blah, blah, blah. Marking this entire skew as defective, investigate with fabrication, Marco. Okay, a lot of this stuff I'm not exactly sure what I... Oh, there's the safe code, uh, safe code right there. Okay, hello. All right, let's see. Maybe we can find the safe answer on the... Or the safe combination on the uh, this thing here. Oh, look at that. No. Password. Password. ICOP0876. Heck, yeah. Marco Simmons password acquired. Okay. So we can enter that here. Marco Simmons. We've got three emails. Reminder about company password policy from Danielle Show to Marco Simmons, Sylvain Bellamy. This is just a friendly reminder for the relevant portion of the policy handbook. 2.7 password protection. Do not share your password with anyone. Passwords are sensitive confidential information. Passwords must not be inserted into email messages, transcribed conversations, or other forms of communication. Do not write down passwords and store them anywhere in your office. Whoops. If you suspect your password has been compromised, report it to IT immediately. Users will be held responsible for any activity that occurs on a workstation that has been compromised and not reported. A note about this morning. From Alex Yu to Neuromod Division. Oh, I know this morning's incident has less people shaken. Okay, so yeah, we've read that email already. And then we have bad install. From Alex Yu to Marco Sim Simmons. The test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct Neuromods? Touch base with Grays and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority, Alex. Okay, so some backstory there. I don't think we know too much of what's going on just yet. Uh, I would love to get that safe code. The safe code is... It's right there, but it's scrubbed out. So I'm assuming we're going to get that somewhere else. I hope I didn't just miss that, though, because I love solving little puzzles. Anyways, let's keep it moving. I think we go this way now. Here's the elevator, but it probably doesn't work. Roof and my floor. Hello, Mr. U. Okay, I guess we can use that. But what about this? That definitely looks like... Oh, it's the... Yeah, it's the big helicopter. Uh, I'm not sure where... Why would... Uh, what's our current objective, actually? Get to the main lobby. Okay, so can we get to the roof? It's probably going to say it's out of order, right? Yeah. Okay, that doesn't work. So let's go this way. Uh, excuse me? Why did that happen? No clue. Okay, so they somehow simulated... So I guess we were under the influence of psychotropic drugs or something. Because we got into the helicopter and then, I guess, thought... It was taking us where it was taking us, but in reality, it just was there the whole time. I am assuming. We've also got these little mimics, the Typhons or whatever, crawling around, so we got to be careful about those, too. I didn't think the game would give us an enemy right off the bat as quickly as it did. Uh, let's see. We've got some explosive canisters. Very arcane-y to have, like, explosives that you can use for various purposes. And I'm going to try to interact with the helicopter. Okay, I think that's the pilot's dialogue on repeat now. Okay, this looks like the lobby to me. Testing facility confirmed. Please wait. <laughs> Testing facility roof confirmed. Okay, this is weird. This elevator seems to be doing things, but not. All right. Oh, it's like changing the... Oh, it's changing the configuration. Oh, so we probably had to interact with that to move forward. Oh, weird. Okay, so yeah, we have to change this to the... I guess to the roof. We're on the roof now, but we have to change it to the testing facility. I don't know. A lot of things going on. We bit confused. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, we read this note before. The method dot psi. And then that goes to the testing rooms. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The testing rooms were retested by Dr. Bellamy. Oh, and this was the, the security room we saw earlier. Okay, what do we got? An error has occurred. The current application that has failed. So that it has been interrupted. Follow the system reboot procedure to terminate application. Okay, we've got two utilities here. Some playing cards. I wonder if that's a reference to anything. Ace, ace, two, six, five, ace. Hmm. And then power outlet down there. And what do we have here? Ahem. Dimitri Bowser email. 
A note about this morning. Okay, we've read that as well. We've seen that multiple times. We have two utilities. Scene selection. Note, authorized scene transition times include when subject MU is inside the elevator during maintenance operations between test runs. Report any technical issues immediately to Dr. Sylvain Bellamy. So this is when they change the configuration to not, uh, to keep us, you know, immersed. Rooftop entrance testing facility. Scene switching in progress. Okay, yeah, that changes everything once more. Okay, well, that's happening. Authorized personnel clearance required behind this point. And what do we have over here? We've got a med kit. Quick select. The quick select menu allows you to assign weapons and powers for easy access. Press back to view more. Okay, so I'm assuming that's on our D-pad now. Let's switch this back to the... Actually, we'll keep it there. And then what do we have over here? Test management. Reset the test rooms to current configuration. Test rooms affected A, B, and C. Okay, so that just resets so that we could do the tests over again, I guess, each day. But we don't know what they're testing just yet. All right, let's move forward. Hello? Oh, hi! Hello? Do you think I'm dumb? If you're gonna transform, you have to transform when I'm not looking. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Okay, yeah. I absolutely love that idea that these things can run around and turn into every object. That is a, that is a genius gameplay idea. Okay, we came in from there, and then this is where we were being tested. Just checking for different stuff. We'll press the button. Hey, yeah. Gotta say, not really a fan of this flashlight so far. It has this box look to it. Okay, I'm gonna press every button. Just because I must. Although I can't press that button. I'm being button blocked. That's okay. Okay, I know I'm like being extremely meticulous right now. I, as I get the hang of the game, I'll go a little bit faster. Crumpled paper. Oh, those are like little uh, materials. Okay, we got two more emails here. A note about this morning once again, and then Morgan's behavior from Sylvain Bellamy to Zhao Long Hang. Alex has requested all orders to go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan, nor do we. Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drip bef uh, before future tests and debriefings and within the test itself, Bellamy. So yeah, point is we're being super duper tested, but we don't exactly know why that is or what they're testing for yet. Very interesting. Okay, and I'm not saying a lot of this knowing what I'm talking about. Like, I actually don't remember anything about playing this game for the little bit of time that I have. So none of this I'm saying, like, facetiously, like, you know, oh, what's gonna go on? Okay, Rorschach test. Uh, yeah, I was looking forward to that, but unfortunately it didn't happen. We have a transcribed Marco Simmons. Alex. Simmons? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Okay. Exit to lobby, skill recorder, stage B, control room. Let's keep going. Hello? Any little mimics? Hello? Exit to lobby, skill recorder, stage B, control room. We're trying to get to the lobby, right? That's all we care to look for. Oh, so they're observing me from up here. God, that's awful. Imagine the, uh, imagine the, uh, very personal things that could be happening in there. Deca- decontam- I thought it was saying decanta emanation. Okay, so we can walk through there. Let's go this way, though, first. What do we have over here? Sound stage rules. Absolute silence when simulation is in progress. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Do not interact with subject off script. Sound stage A reminders. Always reset the position of stage props in apartment after each test. Replacements for damaged props can be found in storage area. Be careful not to bump glass when in observation zones. Sound, sta sound stage B reminders. The helicopter ride looking glass sequence should be... Only reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftop of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Always return to the helicopter to its ready position after being serviced. Okay, yeah, because if it wasn't in its ready position, uh, Morgan would go like, wait, something's off about this. We Okay. 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 Three hits and it's dead. We can also do a power attack, which I'm not doing much of. Also, we've got Typhon organs and 9mm bullets, but can't take its little tumors yet, unfortunately. Uh, we've got uh, Greet Mickelson. Who's got a wrench, which I guess we'll take. We're filling up our inventory very quickly. Or press OK to reset the simulation. Okay. Simulation scene. Echelon, echelon roof. Load. Blah, 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 server status. No for technical issues. Contact Dr. Lorenzo Calvino or Miyu Okabe. Scene switching in progress. Oh, yeah. It's just got two different roofs. Because, okay. So, they have, like, looking glass tech. So anytime, like, you see glass, they could be, like, messing with your mind specifically, which is why we entered the helicopter and then saw a whole bunch of stuff. Because I was thinking, like, how can they just make Morgan see all this crazy stuff? That doesn't make sense, unless he's on drugs, but it's specifically the glass. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's cool. 
Okay, uh, so we can switch back, and then what's this? LG power load, ba da da, for technical, ba ba ba, looking glass off or on? So if we turn that off, yeah, we can just see the glass. So yeah, the glass in this game is basically like magic, pretty much, which is really, really, really cool. Okay, moving right along. Let's go this way into decontamination, or as I like to call it, decontamination. Bop, bop. I'm sorry, what? Oh, hi there, Joven Gravilovic. Ew, oh, it does the mouth tentacle thing. God, I hate that. Oh, and it, oh, wow, okay. Man, if only these guys had wrenches. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Okay, sounds good to me. Research and design, exit to lobby. Okay, we gotta go there to get to the lobby. Got another med kit, thank you. Simulation of progress, only approved items past this point. Well, hopefully a wrench is approved. We've got expired plasma bag. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Hello? Remote manipulation. Man, where's that safe code, I wonder? Because we're going to get really far from it, aren't we? And I really want to open that thing. Uh, I wonder if I... Yeah, it feels like I didn't solve that puzzle correctly. Uh, remote manipulation. Okay, I'm not sure what any of that means. Let's just, I'm not sure what I can and cannot search. So we're gonna look at everything. We've got three more emails here. But see, they actually, yeah, they do the thing where it shows you if you haven't read it with the little exclamation point. Next week's test. Uh, although I have not read this one. Oh, but that's because we're reading it now, so it counts as read. Okay. From Sylvain Bellamy to Joven Gravelovic. That's the guy that just died, right? And then CC Marco. Joven, we need the room updated to the next, to the new test plan. Configurations are as follows. Room A, area of effect. Room B, copycat. Room C, spooky action. Simmons, let us know if anything changes. Sylvain Bellamy. Okay. So they have different test configurations. We've read that. And then urgent from Marco to Joven. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken data related to the mimicry and remote. What is this? New objective? Okay. Mimicry and remote manipulation out of the... Huh? Search for Bellamy's corpse in trauma center. Okay. I think Bellamy's taken data related to mimicry and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card to his cabin off of his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his S word if someone else finds that data. Marco Simmons. Alrighty. So yeah, Bellamy was the main test guy that was attacked by the mimic or whatever they're called. We've got the names of everybody here. Interesting. Uh, and so we have to find the body now. Employees must sign and be on this location. Okay. Play your way, just like all of Arcane's games. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key card, finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. And that is what is so delightful about Arcane's video game design, is that, yeah, you can do so many different options, and they actually feel really fun. Uh, Caleb Hawth Hawthorne Neuromod Design. We've heard a lot about these Neuromods, but we don't know much about them just yet, I think. There is a thing right there. It looked like it was glowing. That's just the reflection. Human eye. Okay, so yeah, there's this Neuromod with, like, the eye. Uh, so that's why our eye is probably red in, like, the promotional material of this game. Caleb Hawthorne locked, and it looks like we can hack if we had a hack point, which we probably don't. Yeah, hacking one required. Okay, so it'd be nice to get into that, but to do that, we'd need to find his password, wouldn't we? And I don't think we've seen that just yet. This is the office of Alice Aiken, or Aiken, Neural Map Specialist. I wonder if it would be, like, under a box or something. We're gonna interact with- Oh my god! Okay, that is definitely going to jump scare me a lot. That's for sure gonna happen. Uh, just looking at any notes we might be able to read. Thank you. What do we have here? One email. Re-simulation question from Marco to Alice. Hey, Alice, I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version for now. Gaining... A new skill from a neuromod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible for now to separate the changes the mod changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the neuromod that makes you play piano like Gustav Leitner, it'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it? Strip the neuromod that makes you play, it'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. Okay. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neuromods. That means going way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. Yous are dedicated to their science is all I can say. Hit me up for lunch later, Simmons. Okay, so it sounds like neuromods let you basically do anything. But if you have different neuromods, you have to reset back before you learn the thing? From what I'm understanding? Ooh, agave. GBMH72 harvest. 
cool. Uh, I know agave is what tequila is made out of. Stand up notes. Test for 324. Reorder test. Lucia on observation. See Bellamy. Flammability test canceled indefinitely. Alex wants to greet Morgan before test. Okay. Thought that might be a little hidden panel there for a second. Whiteboard, Morgan, you fail, fail, fail. Bunch of past tests, but then we just failed 223. And that was the last one, right? So we failed all those tests, and so something's different. Dr. Sylvain Bellamy, Neuromod Division Director. Okay, this is the main guy. So there should be something in here, I think. You think I don't know? You think I don't know? I know. Gotta be a little more crafty than that. And I figured there'd be one in the main room as well. 23 of February. Yeah. Okay, even though they're lying to us and telling us it's March. Okay, we got the dwarf. We got dwarf red cosmos flowers. Let's throw that. Okay, we got the simulation lab pass code. Very nice. New key card. Okay, we'll harvest these plants. We don't know what for just yet. Just looking for that secret. I'm sure we could probably come back here at some point, but I want to get into these lock things that are... That we haven't been able to get to yet. Personality drift results from Zhao Long Hang to this guy, Bellamy. Bellamy, here are the results from today's personality test. I'm sending some drift over the last seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with previous results. This isn't the first time I let Alex know. Most recent test is pasted below for reference. You're planning on vacation. Uh, planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar. You know, you know you love or try something new. New. You've been sensed to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Afraid. Yeah, these are just the these are just the things that we chose, aren't they? Zhao Long Hang. Okay. Yeah, those are the answers that we chose during that test. Daily test from Evelyn McCarthy to Sylvain. Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod insulation removal. Tell me again why we extend the testing indefinitely in Evelyn. We read that one already. Re, have my people been coming to you? From Matthias Cole? Sill, yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much, much worse with the psychotronic staff. I'm talking to Kelstrup about mitigating some of the stress there, but I'm concerned these are not isolated incidents. Going to mention it to Alex on the next, at the next director's meeting, Matthias Cole. Okay, that's an interesting one. All right, well, we got the key card, but we're still locked from that guy's computer over there and that safe way back. Uh, and we're keeping an eye out for Mimics as well. Whose thing is this? Alice, I, we already have been over here. And then have we been over here? Water cooler, we'll drink. Oh, my God. What? Did, okay. Okay, you can get three quick hits very easily. Or you can do one charge attack and then another normal attack. Okay. Be great to have like the ability to like uh, excise those tumors or whatever to get the tumor points because I do remember that being a thing from the very small amount that I've played. All right, we came in from there and then we searched around there and there and there and there. So I guess we've done the whole room. We should be able to key card this, right? Aha! Into the simulation lab. Hello. You're a big feller. Bye. Incoming call. Type in Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. Okay. Good thing uh, we'll probably never have to deal with that guy in the course of a normal game, right? <laughs> the Noetic Field. Excerpt from the Noetic Field, Chapter 1 by Dr. Dio Igwe. I feel like we've read this as well, right? Noetic research, like all bold new ideas, has undergone a predictable pattern in the scientific community. First, skeptics ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, skeptics grudgingly concede the idea might be possible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers and, more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claim that they thought of it first. The noetic field. So yeah, there's a lot of like different scientific properties being proposed, but we just don't know what any of them means. Big map there, or I don't at least. Maybe if you're really smart. Control panel broken. We can repair with repair one, but we still don't have access to skills just yet. I wonder if we can sneak up on this little guy. Mimic, but he's frozen in time, it would seem. hi -yah! Sneak attack for 150 damage. Oh, they're sneaking this. I didn't even know that. Neat. Glue canister. Aha. And Veer Singh. I think that's how you pronounce that last name. Uh, nine millimeter bullets, a med kit, and glue canister. And then we have the glue cannon. Oh, new weapon. Okay, 
Uh, so I did get this before, and if you can't tell by the stuff that's around, uh, you can probably guess what this thing does. Glue Cannon. The Transtar Glue Cannon. Jellifoam Lattice Organism Obstructor, but also it glues things, so there you go. Disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Press right trigger to fire your glue cannon. Press and hold right trigger to fire a continuous stream. Oh, glue. Uh, cool. Yeah, and then that makes all that. Look at that. And we can even climb up there. God, this game is so freaking cool right off the bat. Uh, I remember really thinking that the first time, too. But I just, uh, I don't think I was in the mood to really go through a new playthrough of this just yet. But now I for sure am. Okay, we got a couple of elevators, which I wonder... Oh, you can definitely glue your way up there, can't you? Yeah. I wonder if we should do that now or wait, though. I do not know. Either way, I think we'll end the episode here, ladies and gents. I don't want to overstay my welcome, but usually my first episodes are pretty long. Uh, I am loving this game so far. This is, and I did the first time too, but like I said, I just needed to be in the mood for like a big playthrough of this, which I am now, so... If you would like to help this series, consider hitting the like button, consider leaving a comment, and if you'd like to go the extra mile, consider becoming a patron. Massive thank you to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting what I do, and I will see you in episode two. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, GV. Thanks so much for watching this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to watch more of me, I'm live on Twitch pretty much every day. Link in the description. If you want to support what I do, Patreon is the best way. Link is in the description. And either way, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.